Okay, I'm back. So we got to talk about, <clears throat> let me see. I'm going to get this seating arrangement right because I don't want to be all up in the camera, but enough. So anyway, I watched Married to Medicine and it goes down in the valley, baby. What you talking about? Um, Toya is trying to expand her brand of wines and she's going to be going to Napa Valley and she is going to be meeting with some executives and some other people and she wants the ladies to join her and they're going to be doing wine tasting and I think it's excellent. Like I want to go to a wine tasting. I think that is so cool. <clears throat> Um, I did, I was able to go to a chef's dinner. That's what we went to. Went to a restaurant in Atlanta. It was called Eugene's. It's no longer open, but, um, we went and there was a, uh, on the chef's menu, they had every dish. And I think we had, a. I don't know how many dishes we had. Um, was it a six course meal? I believe it was a six. I, be, I believe it was a six course meal. Well, with every meal we had, we had a glass of wine that complemented every dish that we had. And that was lovely. Um, in the future, I want to do a um, chef's tasting or chef's menu or whatever it's called. I don't know. But I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so that is why the girls are going to Napa Valley. Now, before we go to Napa Valley, we have the, I call them the, what did I call them? Before we go to Napa Valley, Dr. Heavenly's daughter is going to be following her mother's footsteps. She's going to go to FAMU. I hope I said that right. Oh my God. Um, but she wants to follow her mom's footsteps and her mom really, really wanted her to stay here in um, Georgia. But, you know, she don't want to. She's been around them for all her life. She don't want to keep being around them. <laughs> and of course, you know, Heavenly is happy that her daughter wants to follow her footsteps. You know, There's nothing wrong with that. Right. Right. Um, let's go to Simone. Dr. Simone says, look, she's kicking the birds out the nest into another nest that she is paying for. So is that really kicking them out? What? But she says that the property that they're going to be staying is in is going to be an investment property. So I guess after uh, you know, at least this is the thought. This is this is the 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 mind, the thought of it is that the kids are gonna stay there for a short period of time. After that, she'll be able to, you know, uh rent the property out to other people instead of um renting them out an apartment, just buy them something. I think it's wonderful. The kids will always have somewhere to go. Um, will they leave it? I don't know because my thing is I'm not going to pay rent for a whole nother apartment when I have a house that I'm barely there anyway, you can stay in, but I guess she wants them to, um, get some, you know, independence or no understand independence. And I think the dad is more happier than them. He cheesing and everything and. She, he might be up in that apartment. I mean, yeah, in the condo with them. Ain't no telling what Cecil gonna be doing, you know? <laughs> so anyway, I'm a little sleepy. Ugh. So finally we get to the airport with all of the ladies and we're, we're getting on the plane. Um, I feel bad because I don't know the other dentist lady name, which is... um. Dr. Um, Heavenly's friend. I don't know her name. Dang, I feel bad. I should have done. I should have done my research for her name, but I didn't. So anyway, so it's her. 
Um, of course, Sweet Tea, baby. Um, Simone, Heavily, Jackie. Did I miss anybody? Phaedra and Quad comes later. So anyway. Oh, and Toya is her trip, my bad. And Toya. So we get there and Toya realizes that, oh my gosh, I don't have a room for Quad because I really didn't know if Quad was really coming or not. So they ask Dr. Jackie. Of course, Dr. Jackie says no. So who does she? I think her and Simone ends up sharing a room. Speaking of sharing rooms, um, what's her name? Phaedra. Mm. Mm. Phaedra arrives with Dr. Jackie without Quad. Now, we've seen in this season that every time, you know, we see Quad, it is, it is because Phaedra has brought Quad to the circle. Well, each time Quad has come, it has not been a positive outlook. And Toya called it out. Toya said, oh, you didn't come with Quad? No, I switched my flight. My son had a birthday. She said, that ain't got nothing to do with you being on a flight with Quad. So, later that night, the ladies um, have dinner. It is a beautiful scenery. Um, it must be cold out there because they had their coats on and they were still looking lovely, but I don't know what Quad was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking when she had that on, that outfit. I don't know. It looked like a, like a nutcracker or something like that. I have no clue. So, but before that, did you all see when Sweet Tea had to take a shot of that crown, baby? I said, Lord. Sweet Tea had to have a shot of a, a spiked iced tea. And so she has to drink just to deal with them. And not only that, before that, when they were on the bus, um, Phaedra brought up the fact that she was not invited. She got uninvited to her wedding. And Sweet Tea has just explained to her that I did not want, you know, you were not, she was talking about her marriage. And Phaedra said it loud and clear. He an old man, you young. It don't make no sense. But, you know, you can't judge love. Love is love. That's what love is. So, anyway, you know, they, they heavily apologized. But I'm going to tell you this much, sweetie. She ain't going to stop talking. She going to speak her mind. She going to tell you straight up. So, you're going to have to have about two bottles of that crown because I'm trying to tell you it's going to go down. <laughs> so anyway, so we're at the dinner and Quad shows up. Simone addresses, before that though, um, let's congratulate, let's, before that, let's congratulate Dr. Jackie because she is going to be speaking with the Vice President of the United States about infant mortality. And they are from the same sorority, a.k.a. So she is excited, and she says she did something right. So kudos to her. Um, so let's get back to Quad. So we do find out from Heavenly that Phaedra dropped Quad. And after she dropped Quad, Quad called Heavenly. Heavenly feels like she's being used just to get back in the group. Now, Phaedra did say that. Phaedra said, I keep bringing you around and it seems like things are not, you know, um, not coming together. So she doesn't want to keep bringing you around and, you know, things aren't coming together. It's making her kind of look bad and and who called it? Um, Dr. Jackie. Dr. Jackie said, oh, you're not going to make heaven look bad. <laughs> you're not going to make heaven look bad, and you're not going to make her look like a fool. She'll just drop you, and that's what she did. And Heavenly was not, you know, unapologetic about what she said. Then it came to Phaedra was trying to date uh, Gregory, and the reason why she, he didn't want to date her is because she asked for $4,000 a month. But I'm like, 
she's a lawyer and she's been a lawyer. Why would she? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> don't worry about it because I'm connecting dots. I don't, I don't know how he's endowed. I don't know if he's endowed or not, but I can see Phaedra. You know, I have to be <clears throat> in Phaedra's voice. I have to be reincompensated for my time and services. So, uh, anyway, it wasn't anything serious with them. You know, um, Sweet Tea just said that they went on a date and that was it. And I'm pretty much sure that was it. <laughs> she might have money and her purses might cost more than $4,000, but I tell you what. An uh, extra $4,000 in your account won't look bad either. I'm just saying. So, basically, Simone said, look. Quad, you don't pay attention to us. You disregard us. You do not speak to us. So, why do you want to be around us? If you don't like us, if you don't reach out to us, if you have no emotional connection to us, are y'all crazy? She gonna keep coming around because of those checks. The checks keep coming around. So that's the reason why she keeps coming around. And they like her. <clears throat> we like her on the show. She brings some type of flair. But maybe, I'm gonna be honest, maybe she's outgrown you all. You know? And it happens. But I don't understand. And she says she's going to do better. And she said that she's going to, you know, Dr. Simone just wants her to be held accountable for her actions. And I don't see anything wrong with that. And, um, but seriously, if quiet, if you don't have an emotional connection, <clears throat> why? Why? So, we're going to get down and dirty on the next episode. And um, I appreciate you for watching. Thanks.